I have a name. Who is it? What have you learned? The order Moff Tyrex signed came from Imperial Major Stan Wu. I've heard of him. He is a liaison between the Empire and hired bounty hunters. I will kill him. You can't just walk up to an Imperial Major and blast him. Do you have an actual plan? I'll exploit the Major's position and turn it against him. The Major is hiring the best bounty hunters on Nar Shadda. I will go there and present myself as one of them. Once I secure a meeting with Major Stan Wu, all that's left is to pull the trigger. Take your time and enjoy. I recommend aiming for the kneecaps first. There's no honor in torture. But he will live long enough to know why his life is ending. If we do not see each other again, Retercia me. You made it back alive. I assume the Imperial wasn't so lucky? That sniveling worm was no more the architect of my clan's destruction than Moff Tyrek was. I left him alive, wallowing in his disgrace. Major Stan Wu ordered the execution because of lies told to him by another Mandalorian, Tayari Rook. The true crime rests with him. What would make a fellow Mandalorian want to sell out your clan? I will ask the traitor his reasons before I kill him. Rook presented Major Stan Wu with evidence that Clan Spar reneged on a contract. My people were hired to destroy transport ships full of young Jedi, but the Empire's target survived. If Clan Spar had accepted that contract, the Jedi would be dead. Rook framed us. You already know what to do. Find this Rook and stick a blaster in his face. I've already begun my hunt for Teari Rook. I will settle his debt to Clan Spar. My travels with you have been worthwhile, Captain. Few Mandalorians experience Republic space as I have. Fewer still see the Jedi up close without having to kill them. Don't hold back on my account. As long as nobody traces it back to this ship, kill whomever you like. I have no reason to fight Jedi while in your company. If that changes, I appreciate your gesture of consent. Jedi are the most respected warriors in the galaxy. And yet, they have never truly defeated the Mandalorians. No matter how punishing our defeats by them, we always return. One day the Jedi will bow down before us. Tayari Rook claims to lead his own clan. He destroyed my clan with his slander and then dares to raise up his mishmash of slavers and pirates and call them Clan Rook. And no one has challenged them. Haven't the other Mandalorian clans caught wind of this? Shouldn't they be angry too? Rook is careful. Anyone who could speak against him is already dead or dishonored. This isn't even the worst of it. The man I was with when my people fell. His clan lost all honor after I left. They joined Clan Rook. My old lover dishonors the name Mandalorian. That coward dies with the rest of Rook's filth. First he turned his back on you. Then he joined up with the man who betrayed you. I say he deserves whatever he gets. I've often wondered if you listened when I told you about my people. Now I know. Rook's clan is on Hutta, bowing and scraping for the cartel. The scum have no discipline. Destroying their camp will be easy. When I'm finished, it will be as if Clan Rook never existed. I leave for Hutta immediately. You look, well, not exactly happy, less angry than usual. It's over. The filth who destroyed my clan and dishonored its name is dead. Hope you made it as painful as possible. The only feeling I have is certainty. My enemy deserved his fate. Before he died, Rook confessed his crime. He destroyed my clan because the lie gained him a favorable contract with the Empire. He killed my people for profit. Nothing more. The galaxy is no poorer without him. Tell me you got something out of this besides revenge. Rook was an even worse businessman than Mandalorian. His so-called clan lived in squalor. I could not have avenged my people without the resources and opportunities you've provided. I will repay that debt, Captain. <laughs>